bands are like marriages. It's kind of like a group that's come together for a specific purpose to form a partnership to create music. Sometimes they're all on the same page, sometimes they're not. And it's the times when they're not that you need a contract. Because when everything is, you know, real cool and everybody's making money and they're getting paid and having fun, you know, everything is fine. You don't have any disputes, you don't have any issues about who has what rights over the other person. But the minute something goes wrong, uh, the minute one member doesn't show up for a gig or they miss a recording session or, you know, they get arrested or they die or whatever the case may be, the issues come up about what now. So if you haven't written it down and documented, the what now is kind of hard to determine. Um, what happens if one member leaves a band and still wants to use the band name or the trademark? What do they do? What happens with, you know, someone who missed a recording session because they were ill and the rest of the group had to go on and do the record and deliver the record? Well, now do they share in the royalties that were paid for that record when it gets sold, even though they're out on the road working? So. Those are all kinds of issues that are usually addressed when you have a shareholders or a partnership agreement amongst band members.